everyone, welcome to today's video and welcome back to my channel. Today we are carrying on the series of me eating only certain food for 24 hours and today I'm only eating food from Uber Eats. A few weeks ago I did the same thing but only from Deliveroo and I'll link that down below if you want to check it out. But today I thought we would give Uber Eats a go. Now in my head I'm like they must definitely have more options than Deliveroo because they're Uber Eats but really I'm not entirely sure. But if you are excited to see what I end up eating today then make sure you give this video a thumbs up. I'm going to be eating every single meal from Deliveroo including drinks, snacks, everything so I'm very excited to see what I end up eating today although I'm sure my bank account is not. If you are new here please do make sure you hit that subscribe button that would be absolutely incredible. My name is Emily it's very nice to meet you. If you're not new here welcome back and let's hop back to about an hour ago when I ordered my breakfast. Good morning let's get the most important meal of the day ordered so I've been looking on Uber Eats and they don't actually have as many options as they had on delivery for breakfast which I'm kind of surprised about because in my head I'm like oh yeah like Deliveroo is like less than Uber Eats because it's Uber, but I guess not. However, I found this place called Ginger and Mint, so I'm gonna get something from here. And the first thing they've got is a scrambled egg avocado sandwich on sourdough, which sounds good. They've got a halloumi avocado sandwich on sourdough, which sounds incredible. But I kind of like things to have a picture so that I know what they look like, and the halloumi one doesn't. So I'm like, do I want cheese and avocado, or do I want egg and avocado? Wait, I'm gonna do the egg and avocado. I'm gonna do no sauce, and maybe there's a side of halloumi. There we go. Let's have a look. Watch there not be a side of halloumi now. No, there's not. Okay, anyway, I'm going to get the scrambled egg avocado sandwich with sourdough bread. So I have an appointment to go to, which I have to leave in 40 minutes. So let's hope it arrives in time. So it's been about an hour and my breakfast is on the way. The guy has just picked it up and it says he's about three minutes away. So fingers crossed he uh, gets here quickly because I have to go for my appointment, but I am starving. We have arrived. Right, I'm gonna go put it on a plate, wash my hands and everything like that, and then we will dig in. Okay, so I'm a bit confused because it did say it came with ketchup and I know I picked no sauce, but that was like chili sauce ketchup wasn't an option It just said it was part of the actual thing, but there's none in there. The bread looks so good It's literally bread avocado and egg Let me have a look how much I paid for this because in my delivery video Everyone found the prices like one of the most interesting bits. So for this breakfast sandwich including delivery it was eight pounds and 49 pence total I mean, there's a lot of food I don't actually think that's terrible. Like if I went out for breakfast in London and I got this for eight pounds, 49 pence, I'd be pretty happy. If I was like eating in, but obviously it's a takeaway. I don't know, let me know, what do you think? It does look incredible though. I'm gonna dig in and then head to my appointment. Okay, that gets a solid 10 out of 10. That was so freaking good. Could have done with some like ketchup or something or like some fancy tomato in there, but it was very, very, very yummy. And I would order again. What do I rate it out of 10? Maybe a seven because it was yummy. There was nothing bad about it. It just lacked a few things. So I will see you in a little bit, probably when I order a coffee or a tea or something. I'm back from my appointment and I'm pretty sure probably half my makeup's rubbed off my face because I had to wear a mask. But let's have a look what I can get to drink. Now, I'm very excited about this because on Uber Eats, you know what we can order? Starbucks. So I'm gonna treat myself to a little coffee and I'm gonna sit and do my editing. Let's see how long it's gonna take to get here. Normally I pay like three pounds, 55 pence for my coffee. So I wonder if it's gonna be more, like how much more it's gonna be with delivery and service charge and all things like that. Watch me be absolutely sick, cause I'm unsure. One thing that has just occurred to me that I never really noticed is that you don't have to pay small order fees on Uber Eats like you do on Deliveroo. Okay, menu. Uh, here we go, latte. Iced latte, grande, normal roast, espresso roast. Don't want anything extra, but I want it with soy milk, and that is it. Total, 350. In? I swear it was more money than that. Wait, here we go, this is where it adds the bits on. There's me saying there's no small order fees. They've added two pounds on for small order fee. So the coffee costs three pounds. The small order fee costs two pounds. Service, 32, delivery 79. Six pounds 26 for a freaking coffee. It makes more sense for me to get two of them, which costs seven pounds 72. So it means I'm paying just under four pounds a drink, which is much better than paying six pounds for a whole drink. So let's place our order. I have no clue how long this is gonna take, but I'm very excited. Oh, I forgot to put vanilla in. I have my own vanilla. I'm sure that's allowed. I've actually only ever ordered Starbucks once before and it didn't come with this on top. How crazy is that? Let's try it. I did forget the vanilla, I hadn't put any in. 
Oh, it's fine. It doesn't really need it. It's really yummy. Right. I'm going to edit my video and then we'll do something fun. Today has been a very... I had an appointment this morning that was quite intense. So I feel like we need to do something a bit more lighthearted this afternoon just to balance it out. So I am sat in the same spot still editing the same video. It's been about an hour and a half, but I'm ready for some lunch. I'm very, very hungry. It's just, you know, out of nowhere when you're fine, then suddenly you're like, ah, I'm starving. So there are many options. I don't actually know what I'm in the mood for. There's tortilla, there is noodles, there's McDonald's, Wagamama. So we're gonna go for a slightly random lunch. I guess this is a slightly bougie thing to like order for lunch on a random day in the week. But I'm going for some tender stem broccoli, some edamame, and some prawn gyoza. I think that's all I want. I could get some ramen, but I might get ramen later and I'm not like hungry enough to have a whole ramen. So I was like, okay, cool, we'll just get sides. So I think we're good. So I'm getting edamame, prawn gyoza, broccoli, and total. That cost me 16 pounds and 30p. However, there's a five pound off promotion today. Don't know what for. It's just automatically added, which it now cost me £12.93, and it's on the way. I feel like that was a very decisive lunch. I feel like we came to that conclusion very quickly, and I'm very proud of myself for that. <laughs> it has arrived, so I've just kind of popped it into bowls and everything, so I'm not touching the boxes. But we have tender stem broccoli, which is just plain and simple tender stem broccoli. I mean, can you really have bad broccoli? Who knows? We have a bowl of edamame that I've pretty much worked halfway through already. Sorry about that. And then we have the prawn gyoza, which looks really, really yummy. And it came with some sauce. And this is my lunch. And it's exactly what I fancy. I'm back. And you know what that means? I'm hungry. So I feel like I could do with a snack, like something to drink a cup of tea with, like maybe a Krispy Kreme donut. But I actually haven't had Krispy Kreme in the longest time, but I do want to see what else we can get because I was like, let's try something new. Let's do something out of the box. Now, my lunch was a 10 out of 10. I've wanted to try that place for ages. It was called Tonkotsu. It's over by the Olympic Park and I walked past it on my daily walk because I do daily walks, if you didn't know. And yeah, every time I'm like, oh, I really want to go in there, but I just never have. So let's find me an afternoon snack. They do McDonald's on Uber Eats, do you know how tempting that is? Maybe I'll get McDonald's for dinner, or maybe I'll do dinner and then get McDonald's in the, like later in the evening as like a... I actually had to stay up late tonight because I have a phone call that's like at midnight because it's with someone in another country, so I have to stay up. So maybe I'll get a midnight snack at McDonald's. Who knows? Is there any like, oh, there's donut time. I wonder if they have that on here. I had donut time for the first time a few weeks ago and it was so good. I took them home to my family and my sister's boyfriend actually messaged me like on Instagram when I put them on my story and he was like, that Lotus one. Was it the Lotus one or the, no, the Bueno one. He was like, that Bueno one looks unreal. And I didn't reply, I just kind of left it. And then I sent, I went back home and I sent my sister back to their house with it. And he FaceTimed me and was like, I was like, I'm a good sister-in-law. Yeah, there's no donut time. It's weird because, oh wait, there's some, something called wow desserts. When I type in donut, Krispy Kreme doesn't come up. Is that weird? Wait, now Krispy Kreme's not coming up. What? They've turned it off. Did they run out of donuts? Okay, well my plan was Krispy Kreme, so that's been absolutely foiled. I could really eat a cookie from Pratt, dipped in it in my tea. I might do that. I might order a cookie and a cup of tea from Pratt, and that will be the perfect afternoon snack. I mean, it's a late snack because it's five o'clock, but then I'll eat it. Like I'm planning because I have this conference call like midnight. So I'm like, my, all my meals are later today so I don't get starving and fall asleep. Three pounds 50 and a two pound small order fee. So that's gonna cost, okay, let's see if we can find something for like another couple of pounds that I'll eat later or tomorrow or something. Essentials, what do they class as their essentials? A baguette, just a plain baguette. I have butter in the fridge actually. Let's order that and see what that's all about. I love bread, only crusty bread. Well, I've got my tea, I've got my cookie. I mean, sometimes the cookies aren't great. Sometimes you need to get two just to make sure that was a good one. So let's order another one. And a fruit pot. So I've ended up getting an English breakfast tea with soy milk, two chocolate chunk cookies, one mango and lime pot, and a prep stone baked baguette. And the total is 10 pounds 50 and it's on the way. Phenomenal, it's just what I want. So the food's arrived and look how many bags there is. I did not order this much, I'm so confused. But it's exciting nonetheless. Okay, so, oh, he's given me the wrong stuff. This is not my food. Stop it. This is for someone else. Okay, this is my food. 
And this is someone else's food. What do I do? They've given me someone else's food and mine. But also, this is not what I ordered. I ordered the mango and lime pot, and this is the mango and banana thing. So they got my order wrong. What do I do? Okay, well, I've got my two cookies. I'm so confused. This is the baguette that I paid £1.69 for. I mean, it's like their soup baguette. They are really yummy, but in like Lidl, this would be about 20p. That's a bit frustrating. We have the tea. And then this should have been the mango and lime, but it's actually the mango and banana sunshine bowl, which is very different to actual mango. Oh well. And then the other order, which, I mean, I don't know if he's going to come back and get it, but there's like sandwiches. There's... Look, pastries. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I just messaged them, but no one's got back to me. So I'm going to go ahead and eat my cookie and my tea. And I guess just wait for him to come back and pick that up. I don't know. But then again, can they even give it to anyone else now because of COVID? Anyway, we'll see what happens. I will keep you updated. But I'm going to eat my cookie and my tea. Let me just go and wash my hands and I'll show you the cookie. They are the best things ever. Oh, it's a good one. I used to eat these all the time. Every time I would come into London on the train when I was younger, I would go to Pret and get a cookie, a, a cookie and then I would go to Starbucks and get hot chocolate or a coffee and dip it in. Mmm. Although you can't beat the Tesco cookies. They're better, like the ones in the Tesco bakery. So it has just gone 7.30. It's time to order some dinner. As you can probably tell, it's starting to get dark outside. It's actually a really lovely night. It's a bit cloudy, but it's not rainy or anything. And it's still quite, it's just kind of dusky at the moment. So I need to have a look through what options I've got. But yeah, my phone is currently dead. Wow, you almost just fell off my desk right then. So yeah, we're gonna get some food on the way. I might pop a movie on. I've pretty much completed most things I wanted to do work-wise today. There's a few things I need to do in the morning, but it's fine. I have a lot to kind of prep and plan. So yeah, there's just a lot more workload than usual. I feel like it just suddenly got dark. Hey Google, turn my living room lights on. Oh, that's very warm. Hey Google, make my living room lights bright white. Better. So I'm on this page, which kind of gives you your inspo. Do you want to go on the latest deals? Top Eats. I feel like Top Eats. Let's get something Lux for dinner, she says, before she orders McDonald's. Okay, these Top Eats don't really look like Top Eats. Nothing here is tickling my fancy. It just looks like loads of chicken shops, and I don't really want chicken. Ooh, Vietnamese pasta. Okay, so I'm going to get one of my favorite places. This is a pasta place over at Westfield. It's called Pasta Ramoli, and they do amazing pasta. They also do amazing starters. They do, like, burrata and things like that. Is it open? It's not letting me kick it. This place, it's so, so good. So this is the type of place that like you can eat half the pasta today and half it tomorrow. So I'm gonna get the burrata and parma ham. So I just had to rethink the whole situation because they have a limited menu. So I've ordered McDonald's. I've got six chicken McNuggets, wrap of the day, cheeseburger, and a three chicken select medium meal with a cup of tea so I can save my tea and drink it later. And I'm hyped. I'm very hyped. And we'll do a little McDonald's mukbang, because why the heck not? Are you ready for a McDonald's haul? So we have the wrap, which I get pretty much plain. It's just, this was the chili crisp wrap, but it's got cucumber, the chicken, and that's it. Because I like it with barbecue sauce. We have a plain cheeseburger. It should just have ketchup in it. We have six McNuggets. We have three chicken selects, the smoky barbecue dip, a medium fries, ketchup, and a tea, which I'm going to reheat later. So I'm gonna go and wash my hands. So I thought I'd update you with what happened with the food earlier from Pret. So yeah, they just said they can't take it back because of the coronavirus, and I guess they wouldn't have anyway, just for health and safety. So I got all of that extra food, and I actually haven't done anything with it yet. It sat there because I didn't want to eat it or you know give it away or anything just in case they came and were like, hey, we want it back. But I'll show you what there is after I finish eating and I'm just gonna pop it in the fridge and I'll decide what to do with it tomorrow. But with the amount of food there is, that pretty much, I think it probably means that we're in profit. I think it's about 30 pounds worth of prep, if not more. There's a lot of food and prep's expensive. accidentally sent me from Pret. We have a blueberry muffin, some sea salt crisps, 
two of the tomato and cheese bakes a tomato and something else oh brie tomato and basil forget we have it's this looks like a cinnamon swirl two egg and cress no one egg and cress sandwich one tuna cucumber sandwich a halloumi falafel wrap a choco bar and a brownie so this here is easily like 30 pounds for prep so I can't believe that they were just like, yeah, like we can't take it back. That's crazy. So obviously I'm going to go and give this food away tomorrow. I'm going to pop it in the fridge now. And yeah, well, I will decide tomorrow what I'm going to do with that. But that's, I guess it's a real shame because someone really wanted their food. So I'm just about to hop into bed and drink my tea, watch a movie and try and stay awake for this conference call. Well, I don't have a choice. I have to. However, the total that we spent today is... 51 pounds and 46 pence which is way less than we spent in the delivery video if you haven't seen that one go and watch it because it was absolutely mad but today i feel like it was a pretty tame day yet i've eaten so well i've had the nicest meals i've enjoyed every single thing i've eaten today it was just a shame that they came and delivered extra food from prep because obviously that should have gone to the person that wanted it but anyway i'm gonna go and drink my tea thank you so much for watching please give it a thumbs up if you haven't already and i'll see you so very soon bye